What's up, YouTube? Luke the Window Cleaner. Rihanna? Hello. It's a beautiful Saturday. The entire week was like living in the UK. No offense, it's just when we visited, it was very dark and cloudy. We've got two homes to clean today, but that's not the point of the video. We're coming clean today. And before we come clean, I would like to thank our two newest Patreon members, T Squeegee. Hashtag And Lynn Sturgeon. I feel like I'm the worst at names. We both appreciate you tremendously. It's early. <laughs> we appreciate you guys. And actually, T Squeegee uh, has a podcast every Wednesday and Sunday. I believe it's the Squeegee Life podcast. Go check it out. He uploads in the evening, you know, and if you don't catch it when it goes live on his YouTube channel, uh, don't worry, I'll leave a link in the description below that will take you straight to his YouTube channel. But if you miss it, catch it the next day, throw in your earbuds, listen to it. It's on Apple, uh, iTunes, and all that jazz. So yeah, anyways, let's come clean. Let's do it. But the truth is gonna get out. So if you've been watching our channel, uh, for any amount of time, you see a lot of Luke and I, and that is because we are owner operators. Luke and I are in the field every day that, you know, our business is operating. Um, we've just hired an employee, so now there's three of us. Uh, we've never claimed to be any bigger than that or smaller. Um, we're pretty happy with the size we are now. Not saying that we're not going to grow in the future but uh, we're really proud to be husband and wife team. And that's, if you look at our website or go to our forum, which is on our website, so check out- LukeTheWindowCleaner.com slash community. Check out our, our website and our forum. You can see that we really emphasize husband and wife team because we want to seem smaller, even we are smaller, but we also were proud of that. And we think that that adds like a touch of like kind of relief for a customer so they don't think it's some big corporation coming to clean their windows you know some hourly guy they know that it's going to be one of us there and uh so th that's one thing when when people the small guys always want to try to seem bigger than what they are and the big guys always want to seem smaller that's something that we've figured out and we're a small guy and we're pretty happy being a small guy and telling people you know how big we actually are i'd say not only that we're we're proud we're i'm really proud i'm very proud of what we've done in the time frame that we've done it i'm happy i'm happy how everything has turned out and i look forward to continuing to grow the company so luke started this company uh, 11 uh, about 11 years ago it was under a couple different names in the beginning and what Luke did was what a lot of people do, and there's absolutely nothing wrong with this, and that is build a company that was big enough to support him and just him, and he was just fine with doing that yeah. for how many years? Like, and I was in chill mode. Yeah, he went, he did his storefront routes, he did his residential routes, and he was perfectly happy being that size. It took care of his bills, it took care of, you know, and so as far as he was concerned, he could do that for the rest of his life. <laughs> yeah. And then in plopped me. And I was like, let's do more than that. So in the reality of it, it's like when I started, oh gosh, like three to four years of it was just tinkering with the idea. Because to be fair, that's when I quote unquote started, but I was tinkering with the idea because I was working uh, more than a full-time job. I was working five 12 hour days, which were never 12 hour days. There were always 13, 14 hour days at a restaurant. And then on the weekends, I would go clean houses. And then when I saw, I started picking up a storefront here or there, and I would only do those on the weekends because I only really had one day to do it because one of my days off were always dedicated to meetings and all of this. So anyways, when I saw that there was a potential there, I decided to quit. I became a bartender and I did that for like two and a half years at least. I did that for two and a half years. 
And when I first became a bartender, I was all like, yeah, I'm gonna just do this, and Sex Mob's gonna have a big company. And then I kinda got comfortable, cause I'm making pretty good, decent money as a bartender at night, and then I was cleaning windows in the day. So I did that for a long time, and then um, I started picking up more and more and more, and I, I got I got to a point where I'm like, man, I, I woke up one day and I realized, I wanna be a bartender for the rest of my life and clean windows on the side, and I don't wanna do this. So I got my button gear and got more business, quit, and then I got back into that comfortable zone, and I just chilled for a long time. Like you said, until I met you. And then, yeah, when he met me, I noticed, because that's when you hired Mike, your first employee mm -hmm. on, you hired Mike and you started picking up some more business. And then Mike left the company and I quit my job and I was like, here I am. And then it became, okay, we need to get enough business to support both of us. And then when we did that, now we're like, well, we don't want to do this forever. And so now we're in the the position where we're trying to get more jobs to get employees so Luke and I can both get out of this. And um, so I think his vision has changed for this company every couple of years. It's, you know, it's changed so much. So even though Luke's been cleaning windows for, you know, 11 years, in my head, this business, what it is now, is completely different from what it was four <laughs> years ago. It's a completely new business for me and really for Lou. I laughed because it was, we have made leaps and bounds. I'm talking when I was doing it, oh man, I didn't accept credit cards. I, uh, heck, when I first started, I mean, I'm just, I'm not going to lie to you. When I first started, like, doing that on the weekends and everything, I'm not insured. Like, Texas? The complete. Who is she? <laughs> the complete wrong way of doing it, like, you know, and you don't have to, you know. And this, this by no means makes you a company, but no logos on the truck. No, no, forget a company shirt, you know. It was just like, and 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 it was just like a side thing more than anything. But I was still technically in business cleaning windows. So. Fuck it, Bob. And that, that's not to say that there's anything wrong with the guy who goes out, builds himself a route, gets himself a residential route, and, you know, isn't interested in taking on new business, just is happy with where he is, yeah. and he can do that forever. Good for you. That is awesome. And that was Luke for a while, and then things changed. And so our company has changed. Yeah. <clears throat> so another thing we'd like to talk about is YouTube. Uh, when Luke started the YouTube channel, it was 100% a hobby for, I don't know. Long time. What, the first two years you didn't have a single video monetized? No. No, so we weren't making anything on YouTube in the beginning. And then it like started to gain traction. Luke talked to some other window cleaners and who were on YouTube and they're like, you're a dummy. Like, monetize your videos yeah so he did i felt guilty about it too i was like i don't want to i don't want to be making money off of, off of this it's just to help people and it's just a hobby i like editing videos and and then so we started getting more and more subscribers and we pretty much bullied window cleaning resource into working with us <laughs> i harassed them into it i don't know if you still have that video of us with the shirts we made ourselves i do what's up guys luke the window cleaner rihanna um all the great reviewers on youtube have uh, window cleaning resource t-shirts so um we made our own they're a little bedazzled they're a little bedazzled so uh yeah <laughs> I do. That was, yeah, that we was. We were just trying to get their attention, and Chris was nice enough to be like, "Okay." Look at these two goobers. <laughs> yeah. So Chris took like a chance on working with us because no one was really doing that yet, mm. and so we started working with Window Cleaning Resource, and which opened up a whole new, a whole new side of our our YouTube channel because we had an opportunity to get more tools that we wouldn't have been able to get where we were in our business then. You know, it helped our company grow, and uh, I think we helped them, too. And it opened up a whole new perspective for us. I think we were very naive in the whole idea of the politics that go behind 
everything. Found that a lot of uh cat hair. I was naive in thinking that everyone just all got along and it was just this big happy family and everything. And uh, there's a lot of businesses involved in this. And I think you will see that continue to grow as quote unquote influencers. And um, that's what it is. And you know, anyone that says, oh, why are you using that term? Um, I'm not trying to be rude, but it's kind of like, man, just wise up. If you look at YouTube, Amazon, any of this, Twitter even, whatever. Uh, there's influencers uh, all our, over. Our industry is really behind in that aspect. Extremely behind. Uh, if you look at the makeup community, I, I like that community. I like, that's the videos I like to watch. And You're talking about a multi-billion dollar Yeah, and industry. it is, I mean, people get sent free things. People charge to make videos for certain companies. And it's just the norm over there. And Unfortunately, it's not the norm here. A lot of people no. want things for free, and um, hopefully one day that'll change. I think with the younger generation coming in, that will change. I wish it was during our time. Luckily enough, we, you know, have a relationship with window cleaner. So, and that's not saying that you know we get everything for free. No. Um, we work for a lot of the stuff. We pay for a lot of the stuff. And, and the sad thing is, is that. There's also this kind of stigma about it that if you're receiving free tools, you're a sellout. Number one, and if you're receiving free tools that you're gonna give skewed uh, reviews on it. Well, I'll be the first one to admit that's not that's, that's not true. And, and you can always ask, uh, there's a couple of companies you could probably ask about that. I don't wanna mention any names. But just because we get free tools doesn't mean that they get a free review but then, or a good review. But then people get angry that, so it's, it's kind of puts you in a lose-lose. Yes. People get angry with you for getting a free tool and giving it a good review. <laughs> people get angry with you for getting a free tool and giving it a bad review because you're ungrateful. And so it, it really puts everyone in like a weird spot. Yep. Unfortunately. And if we don't give our honest opinion or our honest feedback, our opinion is worthless. And I wouldn't I wouldn't listen to anything we said either. If I pick something up, and we're all guilty of it at the, at the beginning, sometimes we really love a tool and then we use it for longer and longer and longer and find out, oh, it's just not a good fit for us. And I'd like to think we've done a good job of coming back and letting you guys know like, hey, turns out that wasn't as great as we thought, blah, blah, blah. Our opinion would be worthless if every time we got a tool that we really didn't like and we came and lied to you guys uh, just because a manufacturer paid us money or gave us a free tool. Because I'll be honest with you, manufacturers, that's just, if you think they're going to pay money for those tool reviews, as of right now, the industry, this window cleaning industry is not really caught up to that point. So that's not going to happen. I would like to see the whole YouTube window cleaning industry, social media really catch up with the times. And the, the, the main issue is this, is that the, the manufacturers and in this industry aren't really willing to pay for the content because maybe they don't see the value in what we do and sharing our opinion and sharing you know all of this content on social media so what happens is a lot of them will go to a guy and say for example it comes to us and says hey Luke I'll send you a tool and I'm like that's great man that'll be $500 for the video and it's gonna be um, you know, we'll, we'll give it a, a, a honest review. And he goes to the next guy with maybe 500 subscribers and says, hey, we're interested in working with you. How about just a free tool? Yeah, I'll do it, I'll do it. And that's where kind of the problem starts is that we're all just doing all of these reviews just for free tools and it kind of muddies up the whole the whole system. What if someone gave you a Skyvac? i do a video for him. <laughs> So another truth about our, our company or just us in general is that we, this year we've really niched it down who we speak to on like a daily basis uh, when it comes to other window cleaners. And it's, it's not because we hate everybody, it's because we decided to cut out all the BS this year. Uh, we want friends and you know teammates that are honest with their community and, and and you know where you could bet money on that they're doing what they're doing we're really close with jordy at the window cleans who is now he is a window cleaner he owns his own window cleaning company and he's also a sales rep for a window cleaning resource he's amazing we'll put his number down below or up here somewhere we're gonna put it everywhere <laughs> 
he's amazing and if you can talk to him on any given day and you can 100% trust what he says he's doing is what he's doing he tells you the good he tells you the bad uh, same we recently became pretty close with um, TJ at uh, T Squeegee on YouTube and it's the same it's because he is 100% honest he had a bad day he'll tell you I had a bad day he had a good day he'll tell you I had a good day and and those are people you can trust there are a lot of people out there who aren't who they they think who aren't who they claim, to be. they claim to be it's not our job to go around calling people out we tried it we did it years <laughs> ago it did not go well for us no it blew yeah it was not great so we're not going to do that again and we won't do that again it's not our job to police the community but just know that there are people out there who if it sounds too good to be true it's too good to be true. I would also say that we've caught out a lot of people that just always need and need and need and need and need. We help a lot of people on a daily freaking basis and we're happy to do that. So on Facebook and Instagram and the forum and YouTube comments, but it's the people that just try to like get in on say Voxer and they only get a hold of you when they need something. Hey, how did you, it's, it's never like, hey, how you been? It's, hey, how'd you do that thumbnail? Hey, how'd you, how'd you do that? And so, so those are some of the people we've kind of just say, Next, next down of our, our our lives a little bit. So we want to focus on our friends, and we want to focus on helping each other. And we want to focus on calling out the people who we know you can trust because yes. we trust them. Whether it be Jordy, T Squeegee, um, Stevo, you know, either Joseph. You know, we, we want you guys to go see these guys and look at their channel because we talk to them, you know, often and we know what they're doing and what they're saying business. Yeah, is true and honest. So find, find people like that, especially if you're new. That's the most important thing. If you're looking for help, find the guys that sound the same. If it sounds too good to be true or unbelievable, you're like, how did you do that? They probably didn't do it. And that's just the way it is for some reason. I don't know why someone would want to lie about who they are or what they can do or, you know, yeah. just, it's just. Mm. It, it, it blows our mind. Just be proud of what you do, you know? And if you are a one man show, be proud of that. If you're a husband and wife team, be proud of that. If you've got two trucks on the road, be proud of that. Like if you've, you've got been doing one, this for 20 years and you work by yourself, be proud of that. We have a local window cleaner here. His name is Lee. Lee, if you're watching, what's up, man? Hope you like that super channel. I left, yeah, we left it at the insurance place. <laughs> He's a one-man show. He's got himself a nice little farmhouse, and, you know, he goes out and does his routes. He's been doing it, like, I think 30 years is what he said? 20 years? A long time. Since the 80s, 30 years. He's cool. He's super cool. And, and you know... He, he's happy doing what he's doing, and I'm happy. happy for him. Yep. I, I really did admire that guy. I mean, he's just like, I'm never gonna quit. I'm gonna do this forever. And he's like, you know, when I get older, I'll start dropping the less profitable accounts and the harder ones, you know? But it's like, good for you. When we met him, he didn't just throw out a bunch of, you know, bull crap about, oh, I've got 65 trucks on the road, not making $1 million a year. He, he, he's, he's super proud, like, no done this my whole life by myself he's like i dropped residential it's it's not for me too much work you know i love guys like that they just give it to you straight we're at a weird point in our business where we're you know we're looking for help because we're looking to grow and finding someone to help you that is you know the one step above where you are is can be really hard because yeah. you, you have to sift through all the crap yeah and then you you trust people and you take their advice and you listen to them and then you find out they're not what they are and it's it's really disappointing or that there's other there's other factors in the story that they're not letting you on to and i always think that's an important thing because there's some guys that build these big businesses and they tell you all of these systems and things that they did but there might be just a few other factors that we left out and uh, some of that being luck, some of that being partners, some of that being side businesses that are fueling this business, some of that sometimes even may be coming from money. That you don't, they don't really put that in the story, and they're like, "Wow, how'd that guy do that?" Well, you plug in these other little factors here, and even if you do everything that they did, it still might not work. Yeah, you really have to find something out that's just like good for you. 
and I do not want that to come off as envy. I am so happy for, you know, you know, someone that's got a bigger business than, than me and Rana and we're, we're hashtag besties, Steve-O. Steve-O's company is bigger than ours. And I, I talk to him. I ask him a lot of advice all the time. Do I not? When we went to hire, I asked Steve-O how they hire uh, on really big commercial jobs. Like yesterday, I sent him some photos. What do you think about this job? You know, like things like that. Cause I know that's a go-to guy I can go to and ask questions. He's been there. He's done that. His, the company that he's with, uh, is much, much larger, I would say, than ours. So that's a solid guy I can go to for advice. Um, and I just don't want it to come off like like we envy them or anything. I'm happy for them, and I want to learn from them. From the real ones. Yeah. Hashtag real world. Hashtag coming clean. Well, all right. It's all out there now. It's all out there. We could probably do another one of these, but we won't be overdoing it. I know somebody's gonna comment. Look at these two stuck up buttheads. I don't think I said anything stuck up. Maybe you did. I probably did. Because I am super stuck up. Mm -hmm. I am a brat. I know behind the scenes, especially with all the companies, they're like, God, I hate that guy. <laughs> Why did he have to be the biggest? <laughs> he is such a brat. Yeah. You are a brat. I just told you that yesterday. You did? I told my mom that too. I was like, did you? Luke just couldn't help himself. He got he got rid of me today and had to go be a brat. <laughs> That's the first thing I do. She keeps me under control. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna go work with Jacob now. Okay, Bye. <laughs> so. <laughs> And then I come home. He's like, <laughs> guess what I did today? <laughs> I'm just like, dang it! Why do you do this? <laughs> Why? All right, guys, thanks for watching. If you would like to learn more about professional window cleaning or just hang out and chat with us, please join our forum at lukethewindowcleaner.com slash community. Oh, that's a lot. <laughs> Have you guys ever noticed all of the names in window cleaning are just extremely long because they see their professional window cleaning, blah, 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 or window washing, blah, 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 blah. It's always so long. And don't forget, if you would like to support what we do for the community and you want to help support our channel, please go visit our Patreon. Uh, I'll be, there's always a link in the description below. It says support the channel with two hands like this. Support it. Bye. Bye.